Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day today. I'm here with my sample sati series. I know, can't believe it. We did it two weeks in a row. We're going for goals. So let's go ahead and start with the samples I tried out last week. I have them here in this little container. So the first one is a body wash. This is by Hemp's. This is the mini pink pomelo Himalayan sea salt. I can talk. Oh my gosh. I feel like I always get tongue tied as soon as I start recording. This is an herbal foaming body wash. I really, really love this. As you can tell, I used almost every drop of it up. I really love how well it makes my skin feel like as far as hydration. It did not dry my skin out whatsoever. It smells very, very good. The only thing I think is a downfall for any kind of foaming body wash is that you have to use quite a bit of it in my opinion. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I even use an overabundance of body wash when I wash my body. I don't know. But I feel like I use more of this in order to feel clean. So it's not something I probably would purchase. I prefer my typical regular body washes, but it does smell very, very nice. And it kind of was like fun to play with. I know that sounds weird. I'm like 40 years old, like over 40 years old and I'm playing with my body wash, but it like foams up. So when you push it out, it's like a big foam. So it's kind of like using shaving cream a little bit. So I didn't try shaving with it, but that would be really great. But this is really nice. I don't think I would purchase it, like I said, just because I feel like you would use too much of it or at least I would use too much of it. If you feel like you could use a small amount of it and get by with it, definitely recommend it. It smells really nice. It leaves your skin feeling very clean and it has a nice scent to it and it doesn't dry your skin out. So lots of wins there. The next thing is by Earth Therapeutics. This is the Tea Tree Oil Cooling Foot Scrub. This is the Australian formula. It's wintergreen and chamomile. I really like this, but it's not my favorite. So the reason why I like this is because it does make your feet feel like kind of refreshed. It gives it because of the winter green, it gives it a refreshed feeling. But for me, I like something a little bit more abrasive for my feet because I want to like fluff off all that old dead skin, especially now that we're getting ready to get into sandal season. So this is great, but it's not the best. So if you like something that's a little bit more not as not abrasive, I think you would like this. It is good, but you definitely have to use it the way that they recommend it. If you try using this while you're in the shower, it doesn't really work that well. But the way that they recommend that you use it is on damp feet and then put this on, scrub it in, and then wash your feet. So kind of like get out of the shower type of thing. Or if you're taking a bath, push your feet up and like let them dry off a little bit and then wash them with this. And then it like supposed to exfoliate better. It does do a better job that way, but who's got time for all that? I don't. So it's not something I personally would purchase either. This is by Tony Moly. This is the Amipool. So they have a moisture and brightening Amipool. This is nice, but it's not something I would purchase because for me, I have tons of serums. I love serums because serums sink in so easily. Serums are like your best friend because they can be layered up very easily versus like a lotion. You can't really layer those very well. These are nice because you can layer them. But for me, I just didn't feel like it gave my skin enough of a boost of hydration. I need more. My skin is very, very dry. So if I want to use something that's going to give my skin some hydrating properties, this is not it. So I wouldn't purchase it. But I think if you have normal skin to oily skin, I think this could work really well for you. So and Tony Moly, of course, is very affordable. The next thing is from Peach and Lily. This is the Pure, Pure Peach Retinic Eye Cream. This is to brighten and tighten. I used this and I didn't notice a huge difference over the week of using it. However, I do know that skincare is one of those things that you have to use more consistently than a week. It's something that you want to use at least eight weeks to be able to see a difference. That's where you're going to see the biggest difference when you're using skincare. For me, using it one week, I did notice that my eyes felt a little bit firmer, like underneath, but nothing that I would be like, oh my gosh, this is like Botox in a bottle. No, it's not like that. It just felt a little bit better, not anything extreme. Maybe after continued use, I would see a better representation of the product, but right now it just, it felt kind of short. The next thing is from Becca. This is the Becca powder. I don't know. It doesn't tell me a name on it, but what I did was I did not use this for under my eyes because you guys know my favorite under eye setting powder is the Becca under eye brightening setting powder. That one works fantastic. If you have dry skin and you have dry under eyes and you do not want to emphasize the dry, the dry <laughs> emphasize the lines under your eyes, that one works fantastic. This one I think is maybe their Hydra set maybe because it's got the little, the little, I don't know. It just reminds me of the Hydra set and it works good for like, I had a zit over here. Well, like powder coming out. I had a zit over here and I like to put a little concealer on that and then put a little powder over it to keep the concealer from moving around. And I felt like it did kind of set that really well. 
For me though, I like a powder that's a lot more lightweight. This one I feel like was, it was lightweight, but not as much as I would prefer for it to be. I love the under eye brightening setting powder. I can use that all over my face. I don't typically need powder all over my face anyway, since I do have dry skin. But if you do not have dry skin and you like something like this, it would be good. It doesn't add any kind of like color to your skin, so it's not adding more coverage. It's just going to set everything for you. The next thing is from It Cosmetics. This is the It Cosmetics Confidence and Sleep. This is the Skin Transforming Pillow Cream. Oh my goodness. I absolutely love this and I will be purchasing this in the full size. I'm hoping that Ulta will have this on sale eventually soon. Maybe. I don't know. But this is really, 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 really nice. I like can't emphasize that enough. You have very dry skin and you need something to give your skin an extra boost of hydration, you are going to love this. It's got like a purple, almost lilac tint to it. So when you put it on, it has a little bit of a tint to it. Sinks in very easily. You wake up the next morning, your skin feels baby soft. I absolutely love this. I will be purchasing that in the full size. Then we have this right here. This is the Juice Beauty Antioxidant Serum. <laughs> I don't love Juice Beauty. I feel like I have not gotten hold of any anything from the brand that I'm like, oh my gosh, this is the best. Nothing I've tried from Juice Beauty has ever knocked my socks off. So for me, again, this one just fell flat. I didn't feel like I was excited about it. I didn't feel like it did much for my skin. I was just very unimpressed to be honest. So I would not purchase this either. Then we have the Sephora Eye Makeup Remover Wipe. This works fantastic. If you use a lot of like liners and mascaras and things like that, and you have a hard time removing them, first of all, Try not to use wipes because wipes suck. So just go ahead and do like a double cleanse. Use like a, maybe like, I like to use the, I can't even think of the name of it. <laughs> but it's like a cleansing balm. I have like so many cleansing balms that I use, but I use different cleansing balms. I use that first to remove all of my makeup. And then I go in with like a soapy cleanser to actually cleanse my skin again. This is nice though, if you're on the go and you have like a lot of eye makeup on and you need to remove it pretty quickly, it removes it very effortlessly. Did not have much tugging or pulling or anything like that. So these are great for those instances, but I personally would not purchase a ton. I might have one here or there stashed for travel, which when we do get to travel will be great. But other than that, I don't recommend using wipes. I think that we should all be kind of getting away from those using more reusable like cleansing pads and cleansing cloths. I think they're much more better, much better for the environment. So it does work though. This works. It works really well. Then we have two perfumes. So we have the Mandarin by Ellis Brooklyn. <laughs> I had high hopes. I didn't. That's a lie. I didn't have high hopes. I don't like this at all. I don't think I like anything from the Ellis Brooklyn brand. I don't know. I've tried, what's this, the third one or fourth one? I'm not sure now, but I've tried several different scents from this brand and none of them have made me excited. They're all just a little bit too strong, a little too pungent and very ordinary. Nothing that I would be like, oh my gosh, what is she wearing? I smell this and I'm like, it's too strong. First of all, it gives me kind of like a headache very quickly. And the other thing is, I feel like it's just an ordinary scent. It smells like oranges. Okay, well then Pacifica has great scents. They have a blood orange one that smells phenomenal. This is not so good. Then we have this right here. This is the Commodity Rain. This smells very, very clean. If you like a very clean scent, you're going to love this. I don't love the way the sample was like presented. It's more of the type where it has like a little stick. You have to like dab, dab it onto your skin. I'm like, I hate that kind. I would much prefer where you can just spray it. I mean, I don't know why they still do this type of sample. It stinks. In my opinion, the perfume doesn't stink. The sample itself, like the style of sample stinks. So it is a little bit harder to use it, but this smells fantastic. If you like a very clean scent, a very almost fresh out of the sour, shower, not sour, shower scent, I think you're gonna like the commodity, or what is it called? Commodity Rain, yeah. I was gonna say commodity clean. Um, no, it just smells clean. Okay, so that is everything I tried out. So let's go ahead and pull some new samples. We're gonna start with perfumes. I'll go ahead in here and pull two. We're getting low on perfume. The first one is, what do we have here? Versace Euros Parfume. Ooh, I think I've tried so many of the male versions of this perfume, and I'm excited now to finally try the female version of it, even though you can use whichever perfume you want to. I use men's colognes all the time because some of them smell better than women's perfumes in my opinion, but that's the first female version of it I've smelled or seen tried. <laughs> we have, oh my gosh, we have Ellis, Rook, Ellis Brooklyn Rose. It's double R Rose. I don't know. 
that's very interesting i'm not going to spray this right now just in case it smells terrible i do not want to smell terrible for the rest of the day no thanks okay so those are my perfume samples now we're going to pull skincare so we're going to pull three out of here the first one is let's see we have estee lauder revitalizing supreme this is the global global anti-aging cell power cream Ooh, i've tried lots of things from estee lauder and i've tried and i've enjoyed most of the things i've tried so i'm actually excited to try that out and see if it's any good the next thing is we have ulta beauty super soothe gentle daily cleanser it has aloe vera leaf juice cucumber extract for normal skin that sounds exciting actually i love anything that has cucumber in it because cucumber is like one of my favorite scents the next thing is we have Dermalogica. This is the Dynamic Skin Recovery. I've tried this so many times. I'm going to stick that in your basket. It's really good. It has SPF of 50 in it, so it works really, really well for it, especially the summer. Then we have Dermalogica. This is the Biomic C Serum. I have not tried this before, so I'm excited to see how that is. I don't think I've tried too many vitamin C serums that I've hated, though, so I do have high hopes for that already, or at least I have hopes that it's going it, to live up to my expectations of what a vitamin c serum can do then we have a body and hair here so let's kind of pull two out of this one the first one is let's dig down deep what do we have we have the ren this is the aha smart renewal body serum Ooh, that sounds nice it reminds me of my dr dennis gross i have these wipes that you wipe all over your body and they help to exfoliate your skin they work really well let's see the next thing is I'm gonna dig down deep in here. Let's see what we got. All right, we have caviar. This is the anti-aging smoothing anti-frizz blowout butter. I love it. I love Alterna because I feel like a lot of their products have a, an amazing scent to them. So I'm hoping this is gonna work great for me. My hair is doing better now that I've kind of stuck to a little bit more of a darker color for myself. Not red. I did like the red, but it's, I don't know. It just, it was not suiting what I exactly wanted. This is the color I think I'm going to kind of stick with for a little while just to get my hair a little bit healthier. And I think it does look a little bit healthier. So let's see if this can uh, give it a little bit more of a boost. Then we have makeup. So we're going to pull two out of the makeup basket. The first one is, let's see, let's see. We have buxom power full plump lip balm Ooh, that looks exciting i do like buxom so i'm excited about that and the next and last thing to try this week is this right here this is by bare minerals this is the bare minerals gen nude patent lip liquor what lacquer oh my gosh i have two samples here so we're going to try two we also have the trish mcavoy instant eye lift so we have an instant eye lift by Trish McAvoy and then the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Patent Lip Lacquer, not liquor. <laughs> oh my gosh. So there's the colors I get to use this week as well. So I don't know about Savage, which is the last color here that looks very chocolatey, very like, what is that? Like a 90s color. So I don't know about that one, but I will try them all out. You guys wish me luck because I'm sure that some of them are not going to look so good on me, but that's okay. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the goodie bag, or yeah, actually it's the cart. So I put it in this little box right here. This is just a Sephora box, so I'll show you guys. The cart is in here. This is kind of noisy, I do apologize. So here's the cart in here from last week's giveaway. So that is what you're gonna be getting. I will like package this up a lot more neatly when I do mail it out. I don't know what I did with my phone. It's over there, hang tight, let me go grab it. Okay, got my phone. All right, so let's go ahead and figure this out. Go to the Sample Sunday video and let's pick a winner for this little cart. So you get a little shopping cart full of goodies. I think it's super cute. All right, so Sample Sunday. All right, and all the comments. Now we have all the comments pulled up. I'm trying to go down really far, up really far, down really far, up really far. Trying to get it right in there. You ready? And here. The person who wins is, okay, making sure she had the number and everything, is Rebecca Webb. She says, hashtag Sample Sunday. I'm trying the new Ralph Lauren 
romance perfume sample today. I think it smells very similar to the Eau de Parfum. Slightly warmer perhaps, and she chooses number six. So that is the part of the deal. You have to choose a number for me to choose something from Ulta to purchase off of my wish list. So Rebecca Webb, this is your cart. So congratulations, Rebecca. All you have to do is look in the description box, find my email address, send me your mailing address, and I will mail this out to you. So congratulations again, Rebecca. Let me take a screenshot of that so I don't lose it. And she said number six. So let's go to Ulta and go to my favorites. So let's see, there's two, four, six. So Peach and Lily. So we have the Peach and Lily Lazy Day All-in-One Moisture Pads. They hydrate and wake up. These have pomegranate and super greens in them. So they are $39 on the Ulta website. So I'm excited to try those. So thank you so much, Rebecca. We'll be purchasing those to try them out. Let's see, it says they have almost five stars and it's 160 reviews. So <laughs> they look very promising. All right, let's go ahead and get into our new goodie bag. So the new goodie bag is this one right here. It's a little Ipsy bag. It says now boarding, super cute, which I mean, if you guys are looking into traveling or anything, I know we've been looking into it, but with coat, with the world the way it is, you can't really do that right now, but I did first, I did get my first shot the other day. So I'm hoping once I get my second shot, things are going to start to be able to be a little bit more normal. I don't know. I mean, let's just keep our fingers crossed. That's all we can do. All right. So let's go ahead and get our goodies here. So we're going to choose 10 out of here to put in our cute little bag. This looks so pastel. It looks like Easter, which by the way, happy Easter today, guys. All right. So let's pull 10. The first one is, let's see, I'm going to dig down in here. What do we have? We have the Murad. This is the acne control clarifying cleanser for normal to oily skin. So here's a little cleanser. The next one is, I'm gonna dig down deep, dig down deep. What do we got? We have the Tan Lux Super Glow Hyaluronic Self Tanner Serum. So here's a little serum from Tan Lux. The next one is, let's see, let's see, what do we got? Ooh, what is this? We have the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. So here's a little micellar cleansing water. This is looking like a great travel bag so far. The next one is, let's see, let's see, I'm digging down deep. We have the Belief, the <laughs> Belief in Truth Moisturizing Eye Balm. I couldn't read that for a second. There's a little eye balm. The next one is, let's see, let's see, what do we have? We have Mamond. Red Energy Recovery Serum. This is a blossoming energy. I'm not sure what that means, but here you go. That's four, five. So five more to go. The next one is we have Coats. This is the Face Moisturizer Lightly Tinted SPF 35 Mineral Sunscreen. So a sunscreen just in time for all of us to be heading outside, which you should be using sunscreen anyway every day. So you know I always preach that. The next thing is from Paracone MD. This is the Cold Plasma Plus Sub D and Neck Serum. This stuff is phenomenal. I'm telling you, this works really well. If you would put this under your neck and then do the upward motion on it, it works really, really well. So there's six, seven, three more to go. The next one is, let's see, let's see. What do we have? We have Derma Blend. This is the loose setting powder. So here's a little setting powder. Next one is, ooh, something big. We have the Amazing Grace Firming Body Emulsion by Philosophy. So there's that. And then our last goodie is, what do we have here? Clinique, all about clean liquid facial soap. So here's a facial soap. So you've got lots of goodies in here. Hopefully you guys are excited about this goodie bag for this week. I just realized it's got a little airplane as the zipper. That is so darn cute, darn, darn cute. Anyway, that is everything in the goodie bag for this week. If you guys are interested in getting this goodie bag, all you have to do is leave me a comment, any comment, and just hashtag sample Sunday. Make sure you do the hashtag sample Sunday and then choose a number one through 25. So one through 25 will get you to be able to choose an item for me to purchase off of Ulta. And then you entering and hashtag sample Sunday gets you a chance to win this little goodie bag. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I'd love to hear any samples you guys are using, any sample you guys recommend or the ones you don't recommend. We'd love to hear about them all. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.